Hi, we all know about International Maths Olympiad. It is the World Championship Mathematics competition for pre-university students. It is held annually in a different country. The first IMO was held in 1959 in Romania with seven participating countries. It has now expanded to over 100 countries from five continents. The International Mathematical Olympiad is one of the most prestigious mathematical competitions in the world. It is also known to be the biggest and toughest competition in the world. The questions are said to be real difficult. Are you interested in seeing one of the questions asked in Olympiad? Let's see the very first question of the very first Olympiad. That is one held in 1959. And let's try to solve it. So the question is, prove that the fraction 21n plus 4 by 14n plus 3 is irreducible for every natural number n. You might like to pause the video to think of the solution. I'm going to lead you to solution now. Now, a fraction is reducible means it can be expressed in terms of smaller numbers. A fraction is reducible when both the numerator and denominator have at least one common factor other than one which can be cancelled out resulting in a smaller and simpler numerator and denominator as compared to the original one. If the numerator and denominator does not happen to have any common factors, it is called irreducible fraction. Now, what we can do is, we can pick some random values of n and see if the fraction can further be reduced, but that will not necessarily be proving, that will be verifying it by experimental method. To theoretically prove it, we will need to understand something. It is very crucial to proving it. So we need to know that if a number a is divisible by b, also a plus nb will be divisible by b, where n denotes the natural number again. To put it simply, if a number a is divisible by b, the number formed by adding or subtracting the multiple of b to a will also be divisible by b. For instance, we know 12 is divisible by 4. So the number formed by adding the multiple of 4 to 12 will also be divisible by 4. For example, let's take 8 as a multiple of 4. Let's add it to 12 and we get 12 plus 8 equals to 20 which is again divisible by 4. This is true for any integer. For another example, let's take 27. We know it is divisible by 9. Now, let's subtract 36 which is a multiple of 9 from 27 and we get minus 9 which is again divisible by 9. So we saw how the divisibility doesn't change upon doing this. Let's move on to another thing. If a fraction p by q is reducible, the fraction p plus q by q or p minus q by q is also reducible. It is because when we say the fraction pq is reducible, we imply that there is at least one common factor in both of them, that is both these numbers are divisible by a common something. When so, adding q will mean adding a multiple of the common factor to p. And as we said earlier, doing this doesn't change divisibility. The number that divides the fraction p by q also divides p plus q by q. So, if p by q is reducible, p plus q by q is also reducible. And alternately, if p plus q by q is reducible, p by q is also reducible. Let's see a quick example. We know 15 by 10 is reducible. And both 15 and 10 have a common factor 5. That is, both 15 and 10 are divided by 5. Now, let's add to 15 a multiple of 5 which can be 25. This will give us 25 plus 15 equals to 40, which will still be divided by the common factor 5. So, 40 by 10 will also be reducible. Another thing we need to know is, if a by b is reducible, b by a will also be reducible. For example, if 15 by 10 is reducible, 10 by 15 is also reducible. Just that 15 by 10 will be reduced to 3 by 2 and 
10 by 15 will be reduced to 2 by 3. So now let's move on to our original question. We have got to prove that the fraction 21n plus 4 by 14n plus 3 is irreducible for every natural number n. Guess what? We are going to use a very interesting sounding method called proof by absurdity or contradiction. Not only does it sound interesting but also is interesting. It is a common proof technique that is based on a very simple principle. That is, something that leads to a contradiction or an absurd result or a false result cannot be true and if so, the opposite must be true. So what we'll do is, we'll assume that this fraction is reducible. If this indeed is irreducible, we'll arrive at some contradiction or a result that is absurd or false and that will tell us that our assumption was wrong. Let's proceed. Let's suppose 21n plus 4 by 14n plus 3 is reducible or 14n plus 3 plus 7n plus 1 by 14n plus 3 is reducible. Remember how we said if a plus b by b is reducible, a by b is also reducible. Therefore, 7n plus 1 by 14n plus 3 is reducible. We also said if a by b is reducible, b by a is also reducible. Therefore, 14n plus 3 by 7n plus 1 is also reducible. Or 7n plus 1 plus 7n plus 2 by 7n plus 1 is also reducible. This implies 7n plus 2 by 7n plus 1 is also reducible or 7n plus 1 plus 1 by 7n plus 1 is also reducible. This implies 1 by 7n plus 1 is also reducible. We know 1 by 7n plus 1 is not reducible to any natural number n. Since we arrived at a false result, our assumption at the beginning was wrong. 21n plus 4 by 14n plus 3 is clearly irreducible. With this, we have proved the very first question of very first Olympiad. Like and subscribe for more videos. Do make a comment for suggestions and opinions.